just wanted to uh, do this little video to bring some clarification to something that I posted the other day. And um, what I posted the other day had to do with the alarming rise in crime by young black males in certain cities in America that I was particularly speaking of Atlanta, which is where I reside, or outside of Atlanta. And um, I was particularly speaking to that, but then I was also, you know, there's other cities that have these same issues, you know, Chicago, St. Louis, New Orleans, just to name a few, Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and I didn't want to leave it there because while, yes, there are, there is a problem with the dangerous young black males that are, you know, uh, not raised properly in a lot of cases and that, you know, they become predators to the community. However, there are a vast, there is a vast number of young black males that are not in that category, that do the right thing, that are doing things to better themselves, that are positive members, positive contributing members of the community. Far more. Many young black men, like my two sons, older one and my younger one. Uh, my oldest is a boy, my youngest is a boy. Both are, you know, one is a business owner and the other one is a, a, a college student. And I have many friends and they have many friends that are also doing the right things. I have nephews that are doing the right things, you know. Um, so let's not let the last thing that I said be the last thing that I have to say about young black men because uh, two of the people I love most in this world are young black men and and in addition to that like I said there's nephews there's 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 cousins there, there there's people that I care about in my life and people that I know in my life you know um, that are doing great things and they are young black men but it does not mean that we don't have to deal with the problem that I spoke about um, now, on the other side of that, the problem I spoke about with young black males being uh, predatory and having to be, you know, that, that, that subcategory of young black males that are predatory, and we have to deal with the root causes of that, which comes from the home and, and fathers not being in the home and mothers having to raise men, and that's not something that they are naturally built for doing. Um... On the flip side of that, there needs to be a lot of lot more white people going to jail in America as well. There needs to be a lot more white people going to prison in America because a lot of the problems we're experiencing in America right now is because white people have no fear of going to prison. And when it comes to crime, even though black people do an abundance of crime in the black community against other black people, white people are... Let's just put it this way. If crime was an Olympic sport, white folks would be the gold medalists of crime. Black people would be, eh, silver, bronze. But the gold medalists, the decathlon champions of crime are white people. And it needs to be, we need to address the problem that in America, there's not enough white people going to prison. Look at January 6th, for example. Those white people overran the United States Capitol. They attacked police officers. They beat people. They broke windows. They knocked down doors. They destroyed offices. They took over the halls of Congress. And they're just now, with over 500 of them, I think, charged with various crimes. Ain't nobody went to jail yet. That should have been a mandatory. 10 years in jail. Prison. I'm sorry. 10 years in prison for everybody involved. If you climbed over that fence, if you climbed over that wall, if you busted one of them windows, if you was inside, 10 years in prison. Off the rip. If you hurt anybody, we can add more numbers to it. But if you were just there, 10 years, no questions asked, 10 years, your white ass on TV in an orange jumpsuit with your hands behind your back, cuffed up, leg irons, you going to federal penitentiary. 10 years. That's what should have happened. Same thing about these people acting a fool on these flights. 
White folks acting a fool on these flights. White folks need to know, hey, your white ass, you ain't going to just be on the no-fly list. You ain't going to just get a fine from the FAA. If you act a fool on a flight, guess what? Five years in prison. Five years. From the time you getting off that plane, FBI taking you into custody. They about to process your ass. You about to have a, a, a trial, speedy trial. You going to prison five years. So, if you want to attack a flight attendant, if you want to throw a goddamn uh, carry on piece of carry on luggage, if you want to punch another custom, another uh, 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 passenger because you don't want to put on your mask and they ask you put on your mask, and you want to act a fool on that flight, you cause them to have to land somewhere other than where they're supposed to be landing. You delay that flight. You make the flight crew feel like you putting them in danger. <laughs> Five years. Five years in prison. We need to see more white people in prison because white people. Like I said, black people do our share of shit, but we tend to do it to other black people. White people, y'all are the world champion. The world, the WWW champions of crime. Don't nobody do crime like white folks do crime. Black people steal. White people embezzle. Y'all are the champions of this shit. Y'all invented this shit. Black people kill folks. White people massacre folks. We might shoot one or two people at a dice game. Y'all will kill 30 folks in a mall. So, white people going to prison is going to help get this country back where we need to be. Now, that's MAGA for you. That's making America great again. White people.